Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jenkins, and this is an introduction video for a six-week online sports nutrition. It's a three-credit class, 100% online. So I wanted to record a video just to introduce myself and to give you some tips about the semester, okay? All right, so this is a six-week course, quick. Usually we have 16 weeks to cover this material. We're gonna cover it in six weeks. So you're gonna have to be on your game, ready to do the work. This class is 100% online. Furthermore, we're not meeting at a certain time on Zoom each week, okay? You're gonna be able to go through the material at your own pace. We're not meeting at a certain time. What you will see is every week, you'll be covering two or three chapters of material. For that material, you will have access to a PowerPoint, a chapter outline, study questions, and a link to a video of me going through the material. It's a YouTube video. Watch the videos. By watching the videos, you'll know exactly what to focus on versus what is extra. So each week, two or three chapters of material, you're gonna go through the material at your own pace, watching the videos, taking notes, and studying. Each week, the same three assignments are due, almost always. Each week, there will be a discussion board, which will be due every Thursday at midnight. So you have to do a discussion board post every Thursday at midnight, a critical thinking assignment, and a quiz, both due Sunday at midnight. It's the same every week for consistency. Discussion board posts due Thursday at midnight. Critical thinking and quiz due Sunday at midnight, okay? Additionally, there'll be a couple other extra things thrown in there. We're gonna have two article reviews where I give you an article, you read it, answer some questions about it. There will be a midterm exam, final exam, all online. And lastly, an athlete diet plan assignment where I'm going to ask you to pick an athlete and then create a sample two-day diet plan for that athlete okay more information to come now listen I know I'm old older but I really encourage you print out the syllabus I know I'm old but print this out it has everything you need to know it's on Brightspace most importantly it has the semester schedule. By printing this out, folks, you will know for every week what we're doing and what's due. So for every week, you'll know what chapters we're covering and what's due. This is a previous semester's one. I've already crossed things off. Print this out. That way you know exactly what we're covering that week, what's due and when it's due. There'll be no confusion. I'm very organized, okay? Print this out, okay? Um, in terms of a textbook, it's not required. Um, I would say focus on the videos, and then I give you access, a link to a free sports nutrition textbook. So I would say focus on the PowerPoints. Use the free textbook if needed. You can get a hard copy one, of course, if you like. Now, here are some tips. Treat this as if it was an in-person class. We have a lot of material to cover, okay? So look at your schedule and find what times you have available. Let's say you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four to six p.m. That means each of those days from four to six, you sit down and you do work for this class. That way it will force you to sit down and do the work. If you don't, and then you wait, suddenly the week is gonna be almost over and you won't have a chance to get things done or get things done well. Furthermore, if you have a question for me or a technical problem, if you wait until Sunday at 8 p.m., chances are I'm not gonna be getting back to my email before the deadline of midnight on Sunday. So do not wait till the last minute. Set time aside, sit down and do your work. Okay? All right, speaking of that work, I do not take late work, not even by one minute. Do not take late work. So you need to plan ahead. You need to anticipate something might come up. There might be a power outage or something might happen. If you wait till the last minute, 
and then something happens, there may not be enough time for you to email me and for me to get back to you before the midnight deadline. So do work early. I do not take late work. Now, if there is an extenuating circumstance, and I mean death in the family or severe illness, if there's an extenuating circumstance and you reach out to me in a timely fashion, then I will do my best to work with you. But you must reach out to me in a timely fashion and it must be excusable. Otherwise, I do not take late work, not even by a minute. Some other reminders. You'll see it plastered all over the syllabus, all over Brightspace. Communication. When you communicate with me, you need to email me directly. c.jenkins at hvcc.edu. Here's what happens. If, uh, if I send a message out to the class through Brightspace, and if you hit reply to that message, I do not get it. It's a weird thing with Brightspace. So don't hit reply to an email that I send through Brightspace. The best way to avoid any communication problems is to make sure when you email me, always type my email address into the to bar, c.jenkins at hvcc.edu, okay? Speaking of email, communication. This is how I communicate with you, all right? So you need to be checking your Hudson Valley Community College web uh, email. I don't have your personal email or your other school email. I only have your Hudson Valley Community College email. So you need to be checking that daily. You also need to be checking Brightspace daily. Check the announcements. On Brightspace, there's also a little envelope at the top. Check that for announcements too. That's how I communicate. So you need to be checking that daily. Brightspace announcements, importantly, and your Hudson Valley email, okay? I'm checking here to make sure that I've checked everything off my list that I want to remind you of. The last thing I want to say is, um, if I suspect anybody using artificial intelligence, AI, something like chat GPT, it's just going to give me a zero for that assignment. I'm seeing it more and more. Folks, it's not hard to see. I've got eyes, I've got a brain. I can tell pretty much right away if you're using AI. We also have a chat GPT detector. So don't even try, folks. Answer things in your own words. If I even suspect you of using AI, I'll give you a zero for that assignment. If it happens again, I'll report you to the college and it could be a stain on your academic record forever. So just do your own work, all right? Okay, we have a lot of cool things to cover. I look forward to working with you. If you have any questions throughout this course, send me an email. I do my best to get back to students within 24 hours, and I usually do. But don't wait till the last minute. All right, look forward to working with you.